In this video, I'm going to show you complete start, the free set or suite of virtual instruments and sounds that comes from native instruments. Now, this is just a taste of the paid versions of complete, but it is a very good taste. I mean, there is a ton of stuff in here. And I definitely think it's the best suite of free virtual instruments out there. I'm going to assume you have never seen this kind of software before, and I'm going to show you how you can access patches on all of the different synthesizers and sounds. So let's get right into it. All right, so what we've got here is the website. Go to Complete Start. I'll put a link in the description and click on the free download. And what you will do is you'll download Native Access. Native Access is Native Instruments way of installing stuff. And I've got all sorts of stuff installed on my computer. But once you get everything registered with the serial number and stuff like that, you will see that you have not installed a number of little things. So just go in there and click Install All. And you can choose where it's being installed if you go over to your preferences. So right now, you can see where the preferences are for me, where I'm storing all the information. And you can do the same thing on your computer. So once you've downloaded that, you can then go and open up Complete Start in whatever DAW or workstation you have on your computer. If you don't have a workstation at all and you're just trying out the software to play, what you could do is then load up Complete Control, which is a standalone piece of software, which you could then just play around with the keyboard. So you don't even need to have recording software to play around with these sounds. So you could use those sounds to play live or something like that. But most people are going to want to open it inside a DAW or a DAW. So I'm going to show it inside Cubase today. So I've got a blank project here in Cubase. And I've set up a key command for myself. So if you right click and go Add Instrument Track, I'm just going to press I. That's my key command. And I'm going to choose the first instrument that we're going to look at. And what we're going to do for most of this stuff here is use Complete Control. And Complete Control is Native Instruments' way of having all of their instruments and everything accessible within one interface. So you can load up any of the Native Instruments instruments inside Complete Control. The other thing it does is allows you to use the functionality of their keyboards, which I have right here. This is uh, the 61 key Complete Control keyboard. And these keyboards are fantastic, but I won't go over these keyboards because I'm going to assume that most of you are approaching this with maybe a different synthesizer. We'll do that in a different video. Just using the software, this is the, the browser of Complete Control. And in here, you're going to be able to find all of the instruments that you just installed. So I click this little button right here to get on the Instruments tab and then click the drop down. I'm going to see the actual instruments that I have installed by Native Instruments. And in your case, you will just have a small number of synthesizers and stuff in here. So the first thing we're going to look at is the sampled instruments. And the sampled instruments are instruments that run inside a program called Contact and it's Native Instruments Sampler. So that's where they've taken chunks of audio, map them out to the keyboard, and then allow you to play them by the keyboard, and then also allow you to control all sorts of parameters with those sounds. And that's basically what a sampler is. So let's look at contact and how we access it in Complete Control. So in order to access this light version of contact that you have called the contact player, all we have to do is go to the play series selection right here. So if I go to the play series selection, we're then going to see a drop down of three different instruments. So if we go to the website, we can see nine sampled instruments. We've got all of these to choose from. And let's start with the play series selection. And in here, we've got Analog Dreams, Ethereal Earth, and Hybrid Keys. So these are three little samples of a fuller version of these different instruments. Click on Analog Dreams. And then here we can see some other metadata to show us the patches or the sounds that we have with Analog Dreams. I'm going to take all of that off just so we can see the few patches that we've got with it. So I'm going to double click on this one. And you'll see that when you click on a patch, it gives you a little preview of what the sound sounds like, which is very nice, of course. And I could just arrow down and listen. That's a pretty cool bass patch. But let's try this patch out now. We've double clicked on it. And let's try this rattlesnake. I'll double click on that one. So 
But that sounds good. And one thing you need to know about these play series is that they usually have two sounds loaded on them, this A and a B sound. And this blend knob right here will switch between one or the other, or in the middle, it will be both of them. So if I go over to the left, it's A and the right, B. So I like a little bit more A on this one. Let's try this. And then you can see there's all sorts of other stuff we can control with that. We can control the main volume. We can add some delay effects, some more dirt. Let's turn the dirt down. Turn the noise down. Turn the noise up. And then play with the filter. And that just filters out certain frequencies. All right, so I'm not going to get into the controls of these devices, but just show you how you can play around with some of the patches. So that's Analog Dreams. Let's maybe just leave that one as one of my patches. So I'll go through and name these patches as I go, but let's add another one. I'll hit the drop down and go down to play series selections and let's try the other one out. We've got Ethereal Earth and we can see the patches that come with that right there. Same sort of thing on this one. Double click on another patch. You can think of Ethereal Earth as kind of a more ambient kind of synthesizer. So, so let's try that one. That sounds nice. We got like a bit of a kalimba there. Let's we'll just call that kalimba. All right, we're gonna add another one. Next one we've got here is Hybrid Keys, which has all sorts of keyboard sounds. So harpsichords, pianos, mallet instruments, and a combination of synthesizer sounds sort of mixed in with that. These are all kind of sort of hybrid instruments. So let's try piano keys sounds. So this has kind of a nice electric piano feel. Okay, some more things that we have that are sample based on this complete start. We've got Kinetic Treats, which is a whole bunch of sampled toys and some, some really bizarre sounds. And it's again, a little taste of one of their larger libraries. And then we have a bunch of other things like these world instruments, band instruments, synthesizers that are sampled and recorded. And then we've got some vintage synthesizers and one called Urban Beats, which is just sampled drum machines that have the basic sounds like a bass drum, snare drum and stuff like that. So let's go have a look at those. So here is Kinetic Treats. I'll just show you what that one looks like. And believe it or not, these movements are actually doing something. It's kind of bizarre. So let's not get into that one, but it is a fun kind of freaky little instrument. So let's leave that one. But what I want to show you next is how you would find these other sampled instruments. And I have to do things a little bit different because I have some of the, the deeper, bigger libraries on my computer. But what you could do to get to some of those other ones is click this little drop down right here. You go to instruments, then to native instruments, and then just go to contact or contact player, which you will have on your computer. So you're going to load up contact and then what you can do is click this little drop down menu to get to the whole view of your contact player. So I'm going to go to view and just go to edit view and now I can see my whole contact program. All right, so what you're going to do here is you're going to go find your library that has the sounds in it. So what you're looking for is the contact factory selection. And in the contact factory selection, you're going to find band, synth, urban beats, vintage, and world. So that's where you're going to find those other categories that we saw on the Native Instruments website. So let's go have a look at some of these and how you access those sounds. And what you do in contact is you, once you've clicked on your library, which is 
This one and the Play series is probably the only libraries you're going to have in Contact on your computer. Once you buy other libraries, they start showing up in this list because Contact is more than a host for just their stuff. It's a host for all sorts of third party people. So you could go and make your own library for Contact and then have it run inside Contact. Contact Factory Selection is a little taste of some more sounds that they've got. And let's just see what they've included for sound. So if we click on the Instruments button and then double click on any one of these folders, you're going to go down to the next level, which is the patches. So first off, we've got some things like a classic electric bass, clavinet, electric piano, funk bass, electric bass, a funk drum kit, some guitars, and then we've got even an upright bass. And this upright bass actually sounds really good. So if you need an upright bass, this library is worth it just for that. Got some other things like just a classic electric bass if you want that sound, an organ, the muted trumpet, you know. Um, but these things are all going to be very small sampled instruments and are quite old, but they still sound pretty good and definitely usable. For my next instrument, I want to go back to those other folders. In order to do that in, in contact, what you need to do is if you see this arrow, you just got to double click on that arrow and that takes you up to the top folder again. So now I can go look at some of the other categories. I've got synth and here we've got some arpeggi an arpeggiated patch, some bass synths, a drum kit, and some leads and pads. Let's try one of these kits. So we've got a little drum kit in there. We've got some pads. And by the way, when you're changing patches on a contact, here's something to be aware of as well. If I just double click, it's going to load up another patch beneath this one right there. And I don't want that. That's a very confusing thing for newcomers to contact. So just click the X to get rid of that. And all you need to do if you want to try a different patch is drag this sound right on top of the other one. And then it switches. So some nice pads. Actually, let's just leave that one in there. All right, now we'll go look at the Urban Beats category. And this one just has a few Urban Beats kits in here. You get much more with the full version of Contact, but they're very cool. Well, let's try this Orient Vacation one. And the cool thing about these is that they've got the kit loaded on the bottom part of the keyboard. And then you see the purple keys up there, and those are loops. And those are going to be staying at the tempo of whatever your project is. So if I'm using Cubase, I just go down here and I'm going to change the tempo to 85 beats per minute. And so now when I go to these upper keys right here, I'm going to hear the beat in my tempo that I just set it at. So I set it to 85 beats per minute. And now the tempo is working perfectly. And each one is a slightly different variation on that beat. And then don't worry about the orange ones. Those ones have something to do with effects. But let's just try playing in one of these beats. So I'm just going to hold it down. And I'm going to record that in. So I'm going to close this editor, turn the click on and press play. All right, once I've got a little beat in there, now I can double click on that. And what I would want to do is quantize that. Because it's rhythmic, I want it to start exactly at the beginning of the bar. So I select those notes and press Q, and then maybe resize the end of that note just so it's perfectly a bar long. And then now I've got a little drum beat here played, and it will change depending on the tempo of my project. So we'll call this um, Urban Kit. Now I can play one of my other sounds in there. Let's go with this one. Cool, we'll get a funky little thing happening with that. Too. 
Okay, so the next category we'll look at is the vintage category. And then here we've got some old synthesizers. Just a couple of those to choose from, try out. Okay, let's try a mini lead. And you can see this looks kind of like a Moog synthesizer. This is designed to emulate classic analog synthesizers. And of course you could go in and design your own patches right here and come up with your own sounds. So we'll leave that one for now. And then let's go to the world instruments. And then here we've got a duduk, which is a beautiful wind type instrument. And then we've got some like a Japanese flute type sound and some Scottish pipes. So we could try one of those out. And if the volume isn't quite loud enough, you can just crank it up right here a bit. And just drag and drop new patches. Well, this could be kind of fun. Turn up the reverb right here. Let's set it to a concert hall. Cool. We'll call that Uillian. There we go. Okay, so the next things we're going to look at are the synthesizers. And these synthesizers load in what's called the Reactor 6 Player, which is uh, a scaled down version of Reactor, which allows you to play these instruments and then also complete control. So let's go figure out how to find those. Those sounds we can find a little bit easier. If I go over to Vendor, Native Instruments, I'm going to look for this TRK01 and I can find it right at the bottom. Here it is right here, TRK01. Double click on that, and then we can see all of the patches that come with this funky little synthesizer. Double click on the first patch. And this thing is really cool, and there's an amazing video by a guy that I can't pronounce his name. I think it's Dachi Pucci, and I will put a link to that in the description, but he goes over this synthesizer really well. So definitely worth checking that out, but I'll just show you what it is basically. I'm just gonna start my project at a blank spot and just press play. It sounds pretty cool. And basically it's more of a sequencer. So what you're doing is you're actually hearing a sequence of notes that are being triggered. And you can control the notes that are being triggered right here. So we've got a kick side and then a bass side or like a synthesizer side. I press play and all of a sudden I can hear the sequence. And the way it works is they've got keys laid out here to actually control these different sequences. So these lower keys right here control the sounds of this kick drum side. And then the upper keys are gonna control the different patterns. So you can see eight different patterns kind of chromatically right here. So a pretty complex synthesizer and definitely worth checking out if you're into electronic stuff and these kind of pattern based synthesizer sounds, but Pretty complicated, so go check out that video if you wanna mess around with this one. So the next one we're gonna look at is Microprism. Go right to Microprism under Vendor, click on it once, and then we can go start going through the patches. And again, a lot of patches, but you can filter them out with the browser right here. So I could look for a synth pad. Double click on something here. So the next one we'll look at before we look at the last ones is block space. And this one is basically a modular synthesis starting point. And so it kind of teaches you what modular synthesis is all about, which is the kind of synthesizers that use all of the patch cables. And so this will be using virtual cat patch cables, but give you a taste of what that kind of synthesis is all about, which is pretty cool. And Lots of patches in here just to start with, so we'll just try one of these out. So you can see that it's all about these modules that have been added, and that's how the patch is built by some patch designer. Let's try another patch, just double click on something. 
Some of them are step based, so you'd have to play the song in order to hear it. Actually kind of fits perfectly with the, the sound that we've got going on here. It's definitely worth trying out some of the patches and then finding tutorials on how this one works and learning how you can design your own synthesizers from the bare building blocks, hence the name. <laughs> All right, so the last instruments that we will look at are ones that load in the reactor player. And since I have the full version of reactor on here, I will show it to you in the full version of reactor. Then we click the edit view and we are ready to start looking for our sounds. And so in here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you're on the player and then you're gonna go down to reactor factory selection. So we can see carbon two, laser base, new school and space drone. So I won't go over these too much, but if you double click on one of those, you'll find the synthesizer. Let's go to laser base. You'll find the synthesizer and then what you can do here is click on this little area right here to find the patches. So these are all the patches that come with this one. And so we can try something like the bass. And I can just cycle through these patches with these little arrows. So this Carbon 2 one is pretty cool. It's got some really bizarre synth sounds. Let's try one of these ones out. So some kind of more intense EDM type stuff, but still pretty cool. And the New School and Space Drone are gonna be ones that are a little bit more out there. So just be aware that New School is one that you have to press play. You're gonna hear the sequence kind of playing. And then Space Drone is one that's just really long kind of droney sounds. But they all work with the same way with just loading your patch from this little menu right here. And then of course you can go make your own patches and tweak stuff and find sounds out that way. The last thing I need to show you is that this comes with something called the expansions selection. So this right here is something that Native Instruments has been releasing for about three or four years now. And uh, their expansions are sampled sounds and synthesizers that are designed to run in a program called Battery and in Machine, which is this device right here. So they've given a, a, a selection of 1500 loops from various expansions and the way you find those is a little bit different. I'm just going to make a complete control and we're going to use that to find and use sounds out of the expansions selection. So to use it all we have to do is go over to this little menu right here which is loops and then we could also go to individual sounds and find just individual shots or sounds of, from this as well. But We're going to go to loops and then we're going to click this little drop down right here and we're going to go to expansions selection. That's probably the only one that you're going to have in there. And then what we can do is we can look for types of sounds. So I might want a drum loop of some sort. So I click on where it says drums. And then now I've got a whole ton of drum loops to listen to. And they're all going to be at different beats per minute but they will automatically slow down to the tempo that your project is at. So I'm around 85 beats per minute. So let's go look at some that are close to that. I just click on it and listen. Find a sound that I like. Oh, that's a really nice loop. I'm going to double click on that and then it loads up this little audio module. And basically what that does is it lets you play the sound just by holding down a key. Watch what happens if I play a lower key. Here it's the same tempo, but different pitch. And so there's other stuff we can do to this, but how do we just get this in on a basic level into our project? Well, all you have to do is hold down the note that you want to have in there. So I press record and hold it down. And then double click on that and quantize it because a little bit off, but now 
it'll play exactly for those four bars, which will be perfect. And what you have to understand about this audio module is that this is like bare bones stuff that you would get with a program like machine where we could take that audio sample, slice it up, manipulate it, assign it to all the different pads and do all sorts of fun stuff like that. But this is just kind of meant to show you some of the stuff that would come in the bigger libraries. So the other category that we have here is one shots. And if I go and look in there, we're also going to see some individual samples that we could drop in. So I click on expansion selection and you're going to find all sorts of really interesting kind of stabs and probably a thousand different sounds. So let's find, wow. let's find one interesting sound. Maybe we'll go for, let's go to single note and try a synth. Okay, let's try this little synth right here. And even though it's one sound, Complete Control will map it out onto the keyboard for you. So you could now play it like a synthesizer. So there's a whole world of sounds just in the expansion selection that you can check out. So definitely worth digging into. So hopefully that gets you going. You can see there's so much you can do even with just the samples in the expansions selection. And the synthesizers are great. The stuff from Contact is great and it's all free. So get going, find some sounds, make a project, and then start digging into the complexities of the synthesizers with other videos. And I'll put some links in the description. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the bell, and we'll see you in the next video.